Your October love reading. Let's see what's going on, all right? So for my Taurus spirit, what do they need to know in regards to their love life? Thank you. We have so imprints, unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritances are affecting the situation. Okay. One more for my choruses. What do they need to thank you? Dreams. Important dream messages are being given. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have Divine Feminine. Okay. Mm. Can I ask you a question, Taurus? <laughs> it's always funny when I say that because that's literally how I talk to people in my everyday life. I always go, can I ask you a question? <laughs> no, but seriously, can I ask you a question? When I look at that sewing prints next to dreams, have you been paying attention to what spirit's been showing you? And this kind of is like seeping outside the spectrum of love. But I'm, I'm asking you this. Have you been paying attention to what spirit has been showing you? Because it feels like, from what I'm just seeing, it feels like spirit's trying to show you things that may go back to early moments of your life. That need to be healed. That need to be fixed. That need to be reviewed. That needs to be reassessed that's affecting and impacting your love life and it feels like spirits trying to communicate to you through your dreams through maybe uh, different signs and synchronicities things in your everyday world spirits try it's, i'm just seeing like a if you will like a neon arrow spirits trying to point it towards something and i don't know what this is for you all of you will be different but i'm just seeing this neon arrow trying to spirit trying to tell you to look at this look at this and whatever this is it's very imperative start taking heed and start taking note of the messages spirit is trying to tell you because whatever this specific unhealed wound is is impacting your love life whatever this specific unhealed trauma ptsd i mean whatever it may be for you it's impacting your love life and i don't know if you're really looking at this so just take heed to the messages spirit's trying to communicate to you start being aware or alert if you aren't already so what i am going to do it's like a wellness check, right? Let's do a temperature check for my Tauruses. How are Tauruses feeling in regards to love currently? Or their love life? How are my Tauruses feeling in regards to... Okay. Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Let me have one more. Okay. We got two. Four of Wands. Chariot. Could be a cancer. Bottom of the deck is the two of cups in the reverse. Mm. I just heard you're over it. But I heard it in the <laughs> I just heard it in the voice of like Regina George from the Mean Girls. Like like I'm so like a valley girl. That's exactly how I heard it. Like I'm so over it. Like, I'm just so over it. That's exactly how I heard it in my head, just directly. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody's from California watching this, but I'm just, I'm, like, over it. Like, I'm so over it. Ugh, whatever. Like, I'm hearing it in that tone. But it's, it's comical to me when I hear it that way. But, I, you know, I'm hearing that because I'm looking at these cards here. You're, you're tired or you're moving past the in and out, the flighty, the game players, the ones that come in and they show a certain phase but in the end you don't end up getting the two of cups it's not mutually reciprocal and you're very stern you're very stern and keen on the fact that you want the four of wands and that's what it is i think a lot of you have came to that point in your life or in this or in this space where it's like you know what i want a relationship i want a marriage specifically i want a marriage i want to be married I want a husband, I want a wife, or I want a long-term partnership or relationship. You're very stern and firm on that belief, and you're willing to weed out anyone or everyone that's not in the same mindset or mind frame as you. You're tired of the 
you know, I come in and out and then the communication drops off with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. You're tired of the potential of the Two of Cups that never turns or comes into fulfillment of the Two of Cups. But your energy here is not of a bitter energy. So when I go back to the soul imprints and I'm seeing this neon sign that spirit's trying to point out to you in regards to what you need to look at, this is now I'm understanding based off the context clues here of why that's being shown to you or shown to me to kind of show to you is because this has to go back towards your upper, your younger years, right? Your childhood years. The type of people, the type of men or women you choose or or you tend to pick or you tend to gravitate towards. There's something in regards to an unhealed or unresolved wound that has to deal with your parents, your foundational blocks as to why as an adult you choose the type of people you choose. I would ask you this, Virgo. Virgo, where did that come from? Sorry, Taurus. I would say this to you, Taurus. And I'll, I'll say this separately for you guys. If you are a Taurus female, and I'll bring a little astrology into this. If you're a Taurus female, check out your Jupiter and your Juno. Those two placements within your chart will tell you about the ideal partner for you based off your Jupiter placement and then also based off your Ju uh, Juno. For my male Virgos, I keep wanting to say Virgos, I'm so sorry. For my male Tauruses, you want to check out your Venus. And that will tell you about your ideal wife or, you know, female partner that you would like, right? And then, you know, if you're uh, non-binary or whatever you may be in between, you know, you just uh, look where you see fit. But I, and I'm, this is kind of an exercise that I'm giving you, Taurus. If you were to look at those placements, and I'm just going to use the female Taurus as an example. If you were to look at your Juno and Jupiter, and it'll tell you about the ideal based off your core values of what you want in a partner... If you looked at that and you compared it to the type of people you've been in, been with, the Tauruses that I'm speaking to specifically, more than likely, they wouldn't be in alignment. They wouldn't be in alignment. You know? So check that out. That's just a little exercise that I'm going to give you a little homework, if you will, right? But more than, more than anything, a lot of this goes back to your upbringing. The foundational blocks. There's something that's missing here. Some form of core competency that you didn't receive from your parents that's now showing up in your adult life as to why you picked a certain people you do or maybe why there's a lack in vetting process towards the people that you pick but I, I will say I love this energy here because you know at this point in time in your life what it is you want what it is you don't want right through your experiences through those people that okay this isn't the person for me you know, maybe we had these things in common, but we didn't have the full spectrum in common. And those other things were very impactful for what a healthy relationship needed. And that's why they kept failing. You now have the tool book, the playbook, the, the whole kit and caboodle on what it is you want and what, excuse me, what it is you want and what it is you don't want. And I love this energy. So let's see who's coming towards you. I just spent eight minutes talking about that. I am so sorry, Taurus. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just get the rambling. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more for my Tauruses. Three of Wands, three of Pentacles, both in the reverse. One more. Tell me who's coming towards my Tauruses. in the month of October when it comes to their love life spirit. King of Pentacles. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love this. I love your I love this so far. I love it so far. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Fool in the reverse for who's coming for towards you. This is on the bottom of the deck. Queen and King of Pentacles. Three of Wands in the reverse, three of Pentacles in the reverse. This has been somebody that Spirit has been holding off. Wow. Oh, my God. It's click. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just kind of go into, like, a brain freeze because everything is, like, starting to spark in my head, right? Oh, my goodness. So this is beautiful. 
and the reason why I say this is beautiful, I mean, it's kind of unfortunate a little bit, but it's beautiful because this person has been placed on standby for you. It wasn't meant for you to be introduced to this person. It wasn't meant for you to meet this person. This is your absolute counterpart, but it wasn't time yet. It was not time yet. Well, why? Because the work needed to be done. You had to go through these experiences to know what it is that you don't want and what it is you do want. So when spirit brings in this person, you know how not to fuck it up. Lack of better words, you know how not to F it up. There's things that you had to learn through these experiences due to the fact that you lack certain core competencies to withstand, to maintain and sustain a healthy, balanced relationship. I know a lot of times us tarot readers can place the blame at the other person and it, they, they did wrong and it's them and this, that, and other third, which don't get me wrong, I'm sure they have their, you know, faults. But we also have to take accountability for ourselves because we're the ones who allow them into our lives, right? So we still have to take some form of accountability, especially when you stay with people for months to years and they've behaved within that time frame a certain way that is not conducive to a healthy relationship, right? We got to take accountability. That's why I was seeing that red arrow sign pointing at something that goes back to your childhood, some form of wound or something that needs to be looked at and reflected upon. Because whatever that is for you, which now I'm kind of giving you the key here, what, whatever that is for you that goes back to your childhood, whether it was a lack of love from a parent, whereas the, the lack of attention, time, understanding, whether you felt like an outcast, you felt misunderstood, you didn't, there's some form of, there's a block here that you didn't get that's very imperative to be able to build or sustain or have a healthy relationship. There's something that you lacked that through the experiences of your relationships that you've been through in life, you were able to gain. Unfortunately, you had to gain it the hard way because you didn't gain it as a child. But through your relationships, you were able to gain it. But you needed to go through these hard relationships and these experiences to now understand what it is that you do and don't want. And Spirit's been putting this person on standby until you finally got the lesson. And I love that. So your soulmate, your divine counterpart is now coming in. And I will tell you this, Virgo. If you have not gotten the lesson, whatever this is that, that goes back to your childhood, this core competency that needs to be reflected upon and fixed, what will end up happening is spirit will end up bringing the soulmate in and you could potentially fuck it up. You know? So make sure that we are reflecting upon ourselves and doing that deep, hard, dirty work of how we were brought up or what we lacked in our earlier years, in our developmental years. So let's keep going. I want to see in regards to you, your feelings and perspective towards the person that's coming towards you. Can you tell me, thank you, we got the sun in the reverse, could be a Leo. For my Tauruses, thank you. Queen of Wands in the reverse, definitely Leo energy or fire sign, Virgo or Aries as well. What is Taurus's perspective towards this person? Aries, ooh, a lot of fire here, what the hell? And we got your energy with the Empress. Emperor upright, Empress in reverse. So this, again, you're even feeling like this person is your counterpart. Because now we have it coming up on your side. We had the King and Queen of Pentacles on their side, and now you have the Emperor and Emperor. So this is definitely your divine counterpart, Taurus. Definitely. I would ask you, though, and I love you, Taurus. My moon is in Taurus, but check your stubbornness. Check your stubbornness at the door. And I mean that. <laughs> and, I'm, and, I, and I get how stubborn you can, can be. To have that Taurus moon in your emotional space is very difficult. But I, I get it. But please check it at the door. Because I see that being a potential issue here. Is your stubbornness. When I look at this energy. I keep wanting to say Virgo. So I'm so sorry. But when I look at this energy Taurus. It's almost a sense of. you. There's a like and dislike to this person. Because I do believe you like their energy. How they come off. Their uh, stoic nature right their leadership abilities whether this is a male or female you just take it out you see it fit but i think you like those qualities to this person those leadership qualities to this person but there's i'm getting this energy of unwillingness to budge or move almost a sense that this person has to put in all of the work to prove to you that they're the ones that are deserving of you 
And I'm going to tell you, Virgo. I keep saying Virgo. Why do I keep doing this? I'm sorry. I will tell you, Taurus. Yeah, six of wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're going to make this person work for you, which is nothing wrong with that. But there is, a, uh, there is an issue when it goes a little too far. Where this person has to do absolutely everything or all of the work based off how you were treated in the past by past relationships or connections. That's not their fault. Don't, don't F up a good connection because of how past people treated you and now you're making this new person pay for the repercussions of what you've been through in the relationships. I know you know what you want. I know what you know that what you don't want, right? You have your negotiables and non-negotiables intact. But it's not this person's fault for what you've been through or your experiences you've had in love. And I see you putting this person through the ringer to try to gain your attention, gain your love, gain your loyalty, to try and gain that new start with you. I absolutely see that here. And that's not their fault, so please don't put that on them. I wanna know how this person will feel about Virgo. Oh my God, why do I keep seeing? How will this person feel about Taurus, jeez. I'm just ready to like scratch this reading. I didn't said Virgo like 500 times. How else would this person feel about Taurus? Hangman. One more. So we have the four of, ooh. Mm -hmm. Six of swords on the bottom in the reverse. So page of pentacles. So they're, they're going to want to start off small. They can sense that you may not be fully, you know what you want, you know what you don't want, but they can still smell that energy of past lingering on you. Six of swords in the reverse. Even if you're completely done with the past, you don't want the past, you're just over it. It's still, again, you're already coming off like you're going to put this person through the ringer because you don't want to go through the same things that you've been through in your past. Again, that's not this person's fault. They did nothing to you. Of course, have your boundaries up, but don't be so guarded and don't be so overly protected of yourself where this person is paying for the mistakes of others. Don't make this person pay for the mistakes of others. They haven't done anything to you. And I don't sense their energy being bad. I mean, I will tell you, this person feels like you still have healing to do. Four of swords, hangman, three of swords in reverse. They know how badly that you've been hurt, whether you have met this person already or you'll be meeting them in the month of October. It feels like this person will end up knowing or finding out about how badly you've been hurt. Or if you don't even tell them about their past, again, they can still smell it on you. They can still smell past energy lingering on you. And they, this person feels like you need to really still heal that you really haven't gone through this healing process or enlightenment process with this hangman to really change your perception on love or in regards to how you handle relationships going forward, which I already see in your energy. So it's like they feel only comfortable with starting off small. Let's be friends or let's get a coffee, like keeping things very light with you. So I wanna see what the blockage is between these two. What is the... Thank you. Six of swords in reverse and the tower. And not being able to fully let go of the past. Not being able to let go of the mental baggage that's still being carried. And I would say that's on your end, Taurus. I mean, you could absolutely swap roads, but I feel like this is on your end, Taurus. Not being able to truly let go of that mental baggage. That needs to come down. It needs to collapse. It needs to crash. It needs to be removed. It needs to be cleansed. So tell me about the outcome here, spirit, between these two. The fool, four of wands in the reverse, ace of swords in the reverse, high priestess in the reverse. Tell me why this fool is in the upright. King of cups, eight of swords, seven of wands. Okay, and here goes Virgo. <laughs> okay, interesting. Interesting. I feel like a conversation needs to be had about how, how somebody truly feels or what they've really been through. Because your person can already smell it and sense it on you. Intuitively, they, can, they, they already know what's up. So even if you never told this person or you don't tell this person what you've truly been through, the full depths, Intuitively, they already know that you're withholding information about what you've been through or they can sense that you've been through your share of 
unsavory relationships or a unsavory relationship. So I don't see you guys getting together or forming a commitment. I don't see that. But with the Fool here, the King of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. This is, this is where it gets a little tricky, Taurus. Because I don't know if this is your energy or your person's energy. But I do see somebody here still attempting to take a leap of faith, trying this to see how things go. It may be your person because they're coming up with the Page of Pentacles. Right, trying to experience or delve into the emotions of this connection. But it's almost a sense of they get they get blocked. They get blocked. I don't see you cutting off this connection. I don't see you ending this connection, but it's almost a sense of because mentally, and I'm just gonna say this is you because I'm reading it as your energy, because you're still mentally stuck in the past or what you've been through again i don't think you want the past back i don't think you want to go back to the past but again i don't think you have fully healed because i feel like you're making this person go through the ringer to try and show and prove to you that they're worth your time and attention again you have this unresolved wounds it's almost a sense even with them trying to take that leap of faith they get blocked they can only get so close to you you'll only let this person in so close because of what you've been through so again, I say to you, Taurus, don't let this person pay for your past mistakes. And I'm not saying you were the one making mistakes in your past relationships, but, you know, your person, whoever this is, has nothing to do with your past. And I see you, because you know what it is that you truly want and don't want, I see you truly putting this person through the ring of fire to win you over. Nothing wrong with making somebody, you know, put up a run for their money, but when it's to the point of, they're trying and it's still not enough or it's not good enough or are you putting up barriers or barricades or blockages where you're not even giving because i don't really see you giving anything i feel like you're making this person work 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 while you just sit back and see and watch and that's not fair to this person you it has to be reciprocity here so i don't i don't see things ending between you two per se but i do say taurus you when we talk about those wounds from childhood that need to be reflected upon they really do right so i will leave this here hopefully this has been insightful and informative it's been an absolute pleasure to read for you taurus sorry for calling you virgo a million times over and then some my absolute apologies but again i love you as always and i'll catch you on the next one bye